Hello dear students, welcome back to my channel Hilo Pharmacology. In today's session, let us learn about the immunosuppressant agents. So in continuation with the previous session, in this session let us see regarding the cytotoxic drugs which are also known as anti-proliferative agents which can act as an immunosuppressant agents. So first let us see the azathioprine. So basically azathioprine will inhibit the cell mediated immune responses. This azathioprine will be metabolized to form a active metabolite that is 6 mercaptopurine. This 6 mercaptopurine will going to inhibit the de novo purine synthesis thereby it will cause DNA damage. Apart from that, in addition, 6 mercaptopurine will also inhibit the T cell function and also it will going to inhibit the cytolytic lymphocytes activity. So where this azathioprine can be utilized? It can be used in case of renal transplantation to prevent the rejection. It can be used in case of refractory rheumatoid arthritis. It can be used to treat inflammatory bowel diseases and also in treating vitiligo as it normalizes the pigmentation in case of vitiligo patients. Next you have got the methotrexate. So methotrexate is the folate antagonist. It has got two activity. It will going to inhibit the cell mediated cell mediated immune responses. In addition, it also has got anti-inflammatory action. So this methotrexate can be made utilized in the treatment of autoimmune disorders like refractory rheumatoid arthritis, chronic uveitis, chronic active hepatitis. It can be used in the treatment of femficus, severe psoriasis and myasthenia grievis. Next moving on to the another cytotoxic drug that is cyclophosphamide. So here is the graphical representation showing, showing a cycle and the accessory that is cycle pump or blow. So cyclophosphamide activity can be remembered as so mainly on the seat who will sit the humans will sit. So it mainly inhibits the humoral activity. So blow stands for B so B stands for it mainly inhibit the B cell activity. So mainly it is used as the reserve drug or rescue drug. And if you pedal the cycle, which are the muscles which will going to strengthen? Mainly the skeletal muscles. So basically this cyclophosphamide can be used during bone marrow transplantation. And these are the rails or the spokes. So R stands for it can be used in rheumatoid arthritis. Since this rotation of the pedal is done systematically, so it can be used in case of systemic lupus erythematosus. And apart from that, there are other two indications. So it can be remembered as initial letter P and the ending letter P that is idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura and also in the treatment of femphigus. Next moving on to the another very important drug that is mycophenolate mofetil that is MMF. It can be remembered in the mnemonic that is MIG TB. M stands for mycophenolate mofetil. This mycophenolate mofetil will going to inhibit the I. That is it will going to inhibit inosine monophosphate dehydrogenase which are responsible for guanosine nucleotide. So this guanosine nucleotide is required for the T cell and B cell functioning. So once you, once this mycophenolate mofetil inhibit the inosine monophosphate dehydrogenate, in turn it will inhibit the guanosine nucleotide production. Thereby, it will inhibit the T cell function as well as the B cell function. So this mycophenolate mofetil, basically they are going to inhibit the lymphocyte proliferation. They inhibit the release of antibody, and also they inhibit the cellular mediated immune responses. Please remember that there is a caution for the use of mycophenolate mofetil 
please do not use along with the as a thioprin so it has got a side effects such as leukopenia it can cause opportunistic infection mainly that is cytomegalovirus and also it can cause gastrointestinal bleeding so this triple combination that is mycophenolate morphetal glucocorticoids and the sirolimus these are the triple drugs which are very safe and they are devoid of nephrotoxicity when compared to calcineurin inhibitors next moving on to the glucocorticoids example is prednisone so basically these glucocorticoids will going to inhibit the cell mediated responses how it will going to inhibit the cell mediated immune responses by inhibiting the T lymphocyte activity in addition it also inhibit the major histocompatibility complex activity it also inhibit the interleukin 2 interleukin 6 interleukin 2 function it also inhibit the cytokine activity so altogether it will going to inhibit the cellular mediated immune responses glucocorticoids are very useful during graft versus host rejection reactions and also in case of severe autoimmune disorders basically it will going to decrease the exacerbation stage as well as it maintains the remission so glucocorticoids are the preferred drugs during acute rejections so this was about the class on the cytotoxic drugs which, is, which are also known as the anti-proliferative drugs so you have learnt about important things under azathioprine, cyclophosphamide, methotrexate, mycophenolate morphetil and also in addition to that you have learnt about the glucocorticoids as a immunosuppressant agents. So if you find this video useful please do subscribe to my channel I Love Pharmacology and do not forget to share and hit the like button for more updates on pharmacology. Thank you.